Good Monday morning, church. It's time for us to look into the Word of God and see what's happening during the tribulation period and make sure that our, our lives are in tune with the Lord so that we don't have to go through these events. Well, one of the woes has already come, and now it's time for the sixth trumpet to be sounded and the second woe. And we find it in chapter number 9, verse 13. It says, Then the sixth angel sounded, and I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar, which is before God, saying to the sixth angel who had the trumpet, Release the four angels who are bound at the great river Euphrates. Now this is a different event than Satan having keys and letting loose some demons. These are also four great angels who I believe are demonic forces as well, but they're kept for a particular purpose, and it is God who allows them loose at a certain time. They're kept around the Euphrates River, which is the old Babylonian empire, and uh, they have a purpose that God is going to release them for. Now, he had bound them up for a period of time, but they will be released in this time. And he says in verse number 15, So the four angels who had been prepared for the hour, that is, God had this all planned and prepared, and for a day and for a month and a year, were released to kill a third of mankind. These demonic forces are going to raise an army that is going to literally, uh, before it's all said and done in these seven-year tribulation period, these armies are going to have uh, killed a third part of the people on the earth. Now, the number of the army of the horsemen was 200 million, and I heard the number of them. And thus I saw the horses in the vision. Then he talks about the horses and talks about the plagues that, in verse 18, by these plagues, the third mankind was killed. And so these, again, are going to bring uh, pestilence up on the earth. And uh, I want you to notice that when all this begins to happen, uh, you begin to see that, that the vast, vast majority of people on the earth are going to die. A third in some of the other plagues. Now, this may include a third overall, but it seems to be that there's going to be a third part killed with this kind of stuff. Then later on, what is remaining, another third part. So we're getting to a large portion of the earth. Even if overall it's only one third, that is still over 2 billion people who are going to die during this time. Now, I want you to notice here, these angels, these demonic forces are released. We don't know who these beings are. Now, it's speculated, and this is, this is kind of where I kind of fall in on this, that God had allowed every nation to be ruled by demonic forces, that behind every nation is demonic force. We find this in Daniel chapter 10. And so the demonic force that was behind the Babylonian Empire, that that empire was allowed to flourish and to dominate the world. But then when God brought it down, he seemed possibly to take that angel, that fallen demon behind them, and lock him up. The same with the Medo-Persian one. Uh, remember Daniel talks about that Michael the archangel and the uh, Gabriel, another archangel, were doing battle, battle against the angel of Persia, the, the, and later on the prince of, he calls him the prince of Persia, uh, and then also later on the prince of Greece, in the sense of behind these nations were a demonic force that was driving that nation to world dominance. In every, in every generation, Satan's desire is one world government. That's what he's pushing for. And whenever God allowed it to happen, demonic forces would drive people like Hitler to try to establish a one world order. Well, these forces, first Babylon, then Medo-Persian, then the Grecian, then the Roman, it seems to be after a period of time, God then put them and, and preserved them for a period of time. He, he put them away and tied them up, if you will. And, and now they're being released upon the world to once again draw a, a great army for themselves. Now, some say, and, and I don't know which one of these is true, that they're raising up a 200 million man army for Antichrist because these were the old Roman Empire and they're going to raise up an army that's going to 
It'll be a 200, 200 million man army. Others say, well, no, it's the rising up of an army for the West, for Antichrist, but it's also a rising up of an army of the East. And so combined, not, not all one army is 200 million men, but combined there's going to be 200 million men in these armies. And an army out of the East and an army from Russia is going to come. And whatever, wherever it's coming from and whatever they're raising, they're raising an army that's going to go across the world like a fire and consume and they're going to consume energy and they're going to consume food and they're going to destroy and one third of the earth during this tribulation period there is going to be war like we've never seen on the earth not a 200 million man you could go back to world war ii and if you added all the armies of world war ii would not add up to 200 million men and this is going to be one uh, situation where they're going to be a gathering of armies that are going to destroy the world. Well, again, Jesus said there will be wars and rumors of wars during this time, and certainly that seems to be what people are gathering for even right now. Let us pray together. Father, we thank you that we do have a time of peace in America right now, but we see that that peace is very much a time of unrest as well. But Father, we just pray that uh, you'll help those who are hearing these messages to recognize they need to be prepared for the hour that is to come upon the world when destruction comes. We love you. We praise you in Jesus' name. Amen.